So I decided to go with a recording I did earlier this year because I think I did a really good job. Even though I used Harmony 17 instead of Harmony 20, everything transfers perfectly. And uh, I like this recording more. So enjoy. Okay, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to go through customizing your workspace because it's where you're going to be doing, well, all of your animation and work in Harmony and you should be comfortable. So in the last video, we talked about two bars and these icons on the left, along with a few others. Now, they don't have to stay where they are. You can actually click these long bars here and click and drag. And you can see you can peel it off. Now, a toolbar cannot rest in midair like this. If I release, it's going to find its home where it was before. But as you can see, if I get near an area, this happens. And if I release, it's going to fill that area. Now, I don't need to um, fill up a new area. I can actually stack them. So I can put this over here, release, and now that is over here. That might work for you. It might work for someone else. Um, it's not working for me, <laughs> but so you can do this with almost any toolbar in Harmony. As you can see, they're almost everywhere. You can change that to there and, uh, you know, you can really customize your toolbar experience. But customization actually has a bit of a limit. So as you can see here, I have the node view our network view in older versions. I can't take this and move it over to a different view or I mean, almost move it at all. This is very specific to the node view and I can change where it is in the node view, but it will stay there. And that, I mean, in this scenario, that's kind of fair because all of these tools and functions only affect the node view, you know? So, I mean, it makes sense. And to see view specific toolbars, you can right click in a given panel. So for instance, let's come down to the timeline. If I right click, you can see at the top here, it has playback and timeline view. Now, Obviously, timeline view is pretty self-explanatory. Is the toolbar for the timeline view. And these are at the top because these are most relevant for this panel. So if I were to right click here, you can see at the top is node view and et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see, similarly to the node view, I can't put this specifically over here or at least by dragging. <laughs> so if I come over here and right click, you can see playback actually exists here. So if I click this, it will force it to move from here and to go over here. So in that sense, you can get some toolbars to cross through panels and go over where they don't kind of belong. And that's kind of nice, but it won't happen with every toolbar. As you can see, there's no node view to toolbar here. So we'll click play back, right click here and bring it back, put it into place. Now, if this wasn't enough, <laughs> you can even customize the actual icons that are there. So what a friend of mine likes to do, and I have taken this um, upon myself as well, you can right click in most areas and at the bottom, you have customize. Now let's do it, let's do it here. Right click here, customize. Now this is going to bring up the toolbar manager. And this, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. 
this is a bit ridiculous. These are a lot of options you have here. Now, as you work in harmony, as you get comfortable in harmony, you will find things you like, things you don't like. And for me, I usually like to put this here, flip horizontal, and you can click this arrow to send it across into the toolbar. Now the toolbar on the right is the one we right clicked. As you can see, these correspond to these in top down order. It, the thing I put across to the right isn't showing up until I click apply. And you see it shows up there. So I like to put one or two things there to, uh, I like to put those there so I can easily flip things that I'm drawing. And, uh, and yeah, so you can put, you can create your own script and you will find it here. There are none here, of course. These are scripts that come with Harmony. But you can create your own script and then put it here and customize your toolbar to the fullest extent. Now, this customization doesn't have to go away. Like, you don't have to do this every time you load Harmony. And that is what workspaces are for. So if we click this default, this is a list of pre-configured workspaces that come with Harmony. And I'll show you an example, hand-drawn. If we click this, give it a second. So not sure why it brought Harmony into that mode. So this is the workspace they have for hand-drawn animation. And as you can see, it brings up the X sheet, the exposure sheet very important in hand-drawn traditional animation. It has the keyframe breakdown in between, etc. onion skins. It has things that are relevant to hand-drawn animation. They're still in harmony. It's just they brought them kind of to the front, you know? So if you click this and come to scripting for you programmers out there like me, you can actually see how it prioritizes the code. So if we click one of these, the code is here, very big part of the screen, very big part here, and then the message log so you can debug. And the actual camera view is pretty small because the focus of this workspace is for scripting. So let's go back to default. Right. And default has also saved what I put here. But it, what if I wanted more than one setup? You know, I am a one man show and I want to do everything myself. So I can actually click this to go into the workspace manager. And OK, firstly, I'll just say that you can customize which ones are in the toolbar in the drop down menu. And here are the available workspaces. So this plus sign is going to duplicate an existing work workspace. So if I have hand drawn selected, when I click plus, it's going to make hand drawn two. And this is going to be a duplicate of, of hand drawn. And then I can customize it from here, rename it, call it my own mine which is a horrible name because it doesn't tell me what it does. Uh, but I can put this here and, you know, I can press across, apply, click OK, and it will be here for you to see. So let's go back to the Workspace Manager. Send that across. Delete it. Click OK. It's gone. Now, if you find yourself in a position where, oh boy, you kind of messed up, you got this all over here, you somehow disabled the tools, <laughs> the most important toolbar, you don't know what's going on, you move this by accident, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, you're 
timeline is gone, you're in a mess and you don't understand anything. You can always go to Windows and restore default workspace. When you click that, Harmony is going to say, all right, I got you. This is where you started. And that is always a nice feature in case you get lost or, you know, in case you get sidetracked and you need to find your way back home. Now to wrap up the video, let's just, um, I guess we can create our own workspace. I like this how it is for now. I usually love to train beginners in the vanilla experience, the default, because if you're going to someone else's environment or a studio, then this is what you'll be greeted with unless they have a very specific setup. So it's always good to know the default everything and then build on it from there. So I hope you understood. Uh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> okay, see you in the next one. Peace.